and back out again. Moving, lateral, here, back out, back in with the hard things. Lateral motion, working, push back, push back, short steps. One of the most important things in boxing is distance control, and that all happens with the feet. And you guys know what I preach on this channel. It's not just enough to have a set of knowledge, but you have to have the conditioning to back up that knowledge. You have to be able to execute and execute throughout the rounds. Now I'm gonna show you a drill today that's really gonna enhance your distance control. It's gonna make you so much harder to hit and make it a lot easier for you to land shots because you'll be less predictable and you'll also have the conditioning to back it up. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we're looking at is the in and out movement, okay? And it all starts from our basic footwork like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that little pop, little skip on the end. So when you move out, you skip out. When you move in, you skip in. And all this is is basically when you're retreating, it's that footwork kind of motion. Or when you're gaining distance, closing distance on a retreating opponent, it's that kind of movement. This kind of movement is very special because it creates that rebound effect in the calves and legs and really conditions you. So even just working that to start, we'll start to build up the conditioning. So we go here, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. Okay, and we're working that. The second one is the feint with the front foot, the feint that you're gonna attack. This is energy intensive, so you gotta condition it. You're there moving, you step that front foot hard or quick as if you're going to throw that jab out. You're working it, front foot. Okay, and every now and then you go, working it. You, after a little bit of that, you're really gonna feel that front leg. You're gonna feel the pressure there. Technique number three that I integrate is a pop back on defense. So if I'm in front of my opponent and they're about to attack, I push off. I'm moving, I push off. I push off. Okay, similar to this, which really clears out room, but it's just quick, just enough. I'm about to go, oh, I get space. I'm about to go, oh, or I go, Okay, and I get that space with that push off. So that's the third technique here. Okay, you, if you want, you can also just work it as a little step back. But that's not as aggressive. Doesn't give you as much room. But you can use that as well as an easier alternative. The fourth technique in this drill is short, quick steps for lateral motion and to adjust distance. So here I am, right in front of my opponent. It's quick steps. I'm gaining an inch, I'm moving to the side, I'm losing a couple inches. I'm playing that inside game of inches with my opponent, going from here to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. This really matters once you get to the higher level to be able to evade and then come back with something of your own, you need that little bit, those little steps to work to adjust distance so that it's perfect, so it's exactly where you wanna be. So now you're gonna put all four of those footwork techniques together in one drill, and you're gonna go freestyle. One minute, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. You want your legs to get tired. The drill doesn't start until your legs are tired. That's the whole goal. Build up the conditioning and not let your opponent know where you're gonna be, when you're gonna get there, and how long you're gonna stay. All right, so I start working. Here, I'm moving out. I'm moving in, out, in. And I'm gonna just work like this. Okay, then maybe I'm working some hard feints. And back out again. Moving, lateral. Here, back out. Back in with the hard feints. Lateral motion, working. Push back, push back. Short steps, short steps. Now, when I want, is every now and then when I'm feeling good, I pop a, pop a jab out. I wanna get that touch working. I wanna to start to discover my range and my distance and work those, work those legs. Moving, working, working. Hard step, hard step. Jab, I go. One, two, and I'm working out. And back in, and back out, and back in. And I start to feel that as I go. But I'm never staying in one place. I'm never letting my opponent know where I'm gonna be or get set. 
The drill involves basic footwork. The premise is that you want to get to your ideal distance, but not stay there for long. You don't want your opponent to know when you are going to attack. In order to be unpredictable like that, you have to be able to move. You have to have the conditioning to back it up. If you don't work on this, the legs aren't going to be there for you. You're not going to have any legs when it comes time to pull it off. Even at the lower level, you train this continuous movement for more relaxed movement. All right, you train above capacity so that you have it there for you because you don't know what kind of fight or sparring session you're gonna have, you don't know what you're gonna be in for. So you gotta train for the hardest possible situation. That means continuous movement, putting it all together, working these together until your legs hurt, until they're tired. However long that means, that's the kind of time you gotta put in. This drill, excellent for the legs, conditioning in that movement, being unpredictable, timing, setting up your shots, distance control. It's all about distance control. Work this drill. All right, guys, if you like this video, you're definitely gonna like the membership on this channel. That's the join button up above. Links are down in the video description below. I got exclusive videos with workouts, virtual sparring, virtual pads, all kinds of other workouts. I've got a beginner boxing series. If you're a beginner and you wanna learn from the ground up, I have hours and hours of crazy detail there. I have boxing training camps. If you wanna get in your best shape and you wanna focus on a particular aspect of boxing, footwork, head movement, counter punching, overall conditioning, it's all there. I do video reviews at the next level and the level of that is instructional videos. When you get a high level, you get everything below it, all at a crazy good price, check it out. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.